So this is the walk-in cooler that we built. We started with thermosteel panels and it's 8 by 8 and that's the construction for the floor, the walls, the ceiling, all thermosteel panels. We built this to mainly store produce uh, during the hot summer days. The main thing we've had to do here is we've used a window AC unit to cool this down and this should drive it down between 40 and 35 degrees. The trick in doing that because the thermocouple on the thermostat that we have hooked up here to this nightlight will only drive the AC unit down to about 60 degrees. That is obviously not cold enough to keep our produce fresh in the, in the cooler here. So this nightlight is attached to the thermocouple in order to trick the AC unit into thinking the room is warmer than it actually is. So when we control power to this, we can drive the temperature down below the, the uh, AC unit's setting. In order to do all of that, we have this nightlight routed through this reversing switch. The reason for the reversing switch is because we've used a heating uh, thermostat. Air conditioner thermostats are much more expensive, so we've used a heating thermostat. The problem is, when using a heating thermostat, the normally open switch closes when the temperature uh, gets below a certain point. We need to reverse that to where the normally open switch closes when the temperature gets above a certain point. So we've used our reversing switch to do that. And we've wired it on the normally closed side of these switches. And then we use the thermostat to control the opening and closing of that switch. This saved us hundreds of dollars um, on electrical equipment. And this is something with a little bit of electrical know-how, the average person uh, can achieve. So, we got plenty of room for produce in here now.